Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the annual Tree and Vine Expo in Turlock. It's great to be here in person. I'm here with Florent Toyas. Just gave a great presentation on almond canker diseases. Uh, obviously, it's not uh, news that everybody wants to, to hear about in the orchard when they have this problem, right? But as far as mitigating this, these uh, various diseases of almond, right? I mean, it's a big investment to get these trees into the orchard, only to find them succumb to disease in their early years. So Florian gave a, a great discussion on, on what growers can do to mitigate this issue, preventative, and what do you do for diagnostics? What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so I mean to, to talk back about canker disease is definitely one of the main uh, uh, issues that may kill uh, trees in the orchard. So if you get an infection, particularly at a pruning wound, will make its way down the trunk, the, the likelihood of the tree to die down the road is high. So with canker disease, uh, one of the most uh, important messages for, for growers to have a sort of a prevention approach towards canker, re, uh, towards canker disease, because once the pathogen has made its way in the wood, there's not really any curative options out there. So with, with canker disease, really the message is, is to prevent the disease. And so, uh, uh, as uh, mentioned in my talk, one of uh, the main messages here for uh, mitigations of canker disease is the um, protections of pruning wounds. So uh, when almond trees are young, uh, times come for a primary and secondary, secondary scaffold selection, which uh, leaves a uh, large amount of pruning cuts on the trunk, on the tree. And so these are the pruning wounds that if any time during the lifetime of an orchard, grower is going to put an effort towards management of canker disease is going to be towards protecting those large pruning cuts that are made on the trunk. If, uh, if any infection occurs at this stage, this will be very detrimental for the tree. So our main message here is uh, to uh, protect pruning wounds for, uh, for uh, uh, prevention against infection by these canker pathogens. So uh, for this, uh, our research has shown a great products that help uh, towards uh, protection of pruning wounds. Those include theophanate methyls, a chemical fungicide with a commercial name being uh, Topsinam. Uh, Topsin has shown great efficiency towards reducing infection of pruning cuts. And uh, very exciting uh, also lately is um, from our research is um, the, the, the discovery of this uh, natural product. Uh, it's a trichoderma, it's a biocontrol agent. The commercial name is Vintec. These products are now being registered registered in California. And so this uh, biocontrol Asian trichoderma act as uh, pruning wound colonizers and uh, they compete for the space and they, they compete with, with pathogens that are also um, trying to make their way through a pruning cut. So this new uh, natural product, non-toxic product, also work as efficiently as a fungicide chemicals there and are very also exciting to, uh, to protect pruning cuts. Um, another message from, uh, from my talk is also to always make the effort in the orchard when disease occurs to uh, provide an accurate uh, diagnostic. All these canker fungi overall produce uh, gumming on the trees, so many diseases can produce gumming on a tree. And it's very uh, important for growers to recognize precisely what canker disease they are dealing with. So through my talk, I uh, describe about how uh, possibly you can make a diagnostic in the field because each disease has a little something unique to it eventually on the pattern of gumming and uh, in the, the location where gumming occurs all our all our there, there are tips and that you, you'll notice from my talk where you can eventually make a field diagnostic there's a another issue um, is that a lot of uh, when I get calls in the field to, to make a diagnostic on gumming on a trunk on a canker disease Oftentimes what we've noticed is uh, the problem is abiotic, so meaning it's not caused by uh, a canker pathogen, but sometimes herbicide injuries uh, may lead to gumming on the tree that can easily be confused with a band canker or a phytophthora. Uh, sometimes uh, having a boron toxicity in the pattern uh, in the orchard also will lead, will lead to, uh, to, to gumming. So uh, another message to the growers here is to uh, look carefully um, 
work with their uh, farm advisor to get always an accurate diagnostic, which is the start of a, of a productive, of a, of, of efficient uh, management strategy. Good to know, and it's, it's it's important because we do see a lot of gumming in various trees in the orchard, and hopefully we can diagnose them right. So thank you so much for your presentation today. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.